it is dream of every gardener to watch blooming flowers in their garden and lush green vegetables fresh vegetables in their garden and for this we need to enrich our soil and that can be done by adding fertilizers fertilizers can do wonders to ensure healthy growth of our plants while there are many important micronutrients in good quality fertilizers but npk is the key nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they are required by every plant and most of the store bought fertilizers provide us this npk but the fertilizers bought from the stores may have some harmful chemicals that may harm our plants and are also not environment friendly and sometimes costly too so in this video i am going to tell you about some homemade organic fertilizers and believe me making your own organic homemade fertilizer is easy and fun too and you will be surprised to know that they can be made with the ingredients that you generally throw in your bins so watch this video till the end and do subscribe my channel if you haven't yet the first fertilizer we are going to talk about is onion peel fertilizer onions may bring tears to your eyes but their peels are very useful to us as they have sulfur potassium nitrogen many of micronutrients so to make onion peel fertilizer we need a handful of onion peels we'll add it to nearly half a liter of water as you can see and we'll keep it in place where we have shade and after 24 hours what we get is this colorful mixture of onion and water and this fertilizer is very good for all kind of flowers and vegetable plants here i am applying it to my hibiscus and you can see the result after applying this onion peel fertilizer The next in the series is banana peel fertilizer. As banana is rich source of potassium. So banana peels also have all the same properties that banana have. So after eating banana the peels that are left over we can use them as fertilizer we can use them as it is we can apply them directly to our plants but they may attract some kind of fungus ants etc so it is better to make an liquid fertilizer out of them we'll take some banana peels and we'll cut them down into smaller pieces this will help in better fermentation now we are adding it with water then we will keep them in some place where we have sufficient shade from sunlight and after 7 days see this is the result well fermented fertilizer is ready and we can also use dry peels of banana and we can dilute this fertilizer in the ratio of 50 is to 50 adding 50% more water to it we are adding same amount of banana peel fertilizer and water and we are applying it to our rose plants and the results are in front of you see the size of these flowers so this fertilizer is certainly very helpful in flowering plants and we can also spray this banana peel fertilizer over plants it will act as an natural insecticide
so the next fertilizer we are going to make is eggshell fertilizer as we know eggshells are rich source of calcium and most of our plants need calcium so for making eggshell fertilizer we take some eggshells and wash them properly after washing we let them dry for some time in sunlight for one or two day you can say to avoid any kind of fungus in our fertilizer so after our eggshells get dried we crush them into smaller pieces and then we add it to some water after keeping it for a period of 2 3 days you can see a fertilizer is ready and it is very good for plants like adenium all kind of succulents like this fertilizer and you can see the result in adeniums so number 4 we are going to make tea waste fertilizers after we drink the tea we prepare the tea some waste are left over and we generally throw them but in spite of throwing them we can keep them to make the fertilizer for this we will have to wash them properly so that any milk or sugar content if attached to it is removed after drying it for 2 3 days we take a little amount say a tablespoon and almost half a liter of water and leave it to set for nearly 24 hours and it, after 24 hours you can see the color of the tea and it is very good for our flowering plant like roses here you can see we are applying this fertilizer directly to our rose plants and the result is very good as you can see in the pictures the next in the series is mustard cake fertilizer as we know the fields of mustards are good place to romance but mustard is very useful after we extract the oil out of it we get this mustard cake to make the fertilizer we take uh, nearly 500 grams of mustard we can use it directly as a powder and add it to our plants it is very good source of protein for our plants or to make the liquid fertilizer we take 500 grams of mustard and add it to nearly 5 liter of water if we can get a clay pot that is the best as it is porous and good for good for aeration otherwise you can use the plastic container also in summer we ferment it for 4 5 days in winter we ferment it for 7 days and after a period of 4 5 days as it is summer now so we can see our fertilizer is ready now we dilute it in the ratio of 1 is to 10 we add 10 part of water to one part of this fertilizer and before applying we must see that soil is dry we should not spray it over leaves or stem and can apply to any kind of vegetable or flowering plants and should try to use it fresh we don't need to preserve it should avoid preserving it it cannot be used for succulents indoor plants adeniums etc the next fertilizer we are going to make is from cow dung cakes as they are very much easily available in rural parts of the country and we know that cow dung is one of the strongest compost available so to make the liquid fertilizer from cow dung cake we take a dry piece of cow dung cake and will put it in some water and after leaving it for nearly 24 hours 
you can see the change in color our cow dung cake fertilizer is ready and it is very good if it is applied for our vegetables we can apply it in any time of season but should avoid period when there is very extreme summer see the results got milk use it in your garden milk is as beneficial to plants as it is to human bodies it contains vitamin b and calcium so it prevents the diseases like blossom rot other diseases caused by calcium deficiency calcium helps the plant to grow better so to make a fertilizer from milk we can take any type of milk fresh expired or powdered and we dilute this milk with the ratio of 50 is to 50 with water so then we can use this diluted liquid by spraying over the leaves of most of the plants like pepper tomatoes and one thing we must keep in mind that we should check our leaves after 30 minutes of spraying if and if there is some watery milk left over the leaves wipe it gently with some cloth as they may cause some kind of fungal infections we can directly pour the milk in the plants also if you have fish aquarium at your home we know that old water may be toxic to the fishes but this fish tank water is very useful to plants as it is rich source of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so we can apply this water to our ornamental plants and all kind of house plants so this is all hope you like the video Thank you for watching.